not just in PostgreSQL. Which are the product we use? It is very important to understand the version that we are using. Because there are a lot of things depend on the version we are currently using. For example, each product version has its own end of line support from vendor. You need to plan in advance for upgrades or, or migration to other products based upon this end of life support. Most importantly, various product features differ from version to version. Your operating system or third party requirements change. Let's say your front end application is not certified with a specific version of backend database. So that's why understanding your product version is very critical if you are in a support environment. Coming to PostgreSQL, there are three ways you can find out that information. You may be into an environment where PostgreSQL database server is already set, but it's very important to understand which version of PostgreSQL database server that environment has already. There are three simple ways to find it out. The first one is using a select query. If you have an access to PSQL, just get in there and say select version. Here we are using 11.5. This is the most authentic way of doing it. The second version, PSQL hyphen version. This is most of the times correct, but here the only challenge is PSQL is a client library, client uh, executable. If you are in a server, there are very good chances that uh, both client and server are at the same level. Because you log in as a Postgres user when you run PSQL, you have a binary C1 at the same level as your client binaries at the same level as database binaries. And uh, the third one is you can get into your PZ data environment uh, directory. And if we cat this PZ underscore version, it, it will also show the version, but it only shows the major version. For example, here 11.5. In that case, it just shows only 11. Let me show you this with a quick example. Let me log into my environment. So the first one is if you log into a PS SQL, select version. This is the most preferred way. You can also run this command from a tool like PZ admin front end tool. Or the other easiest way is to say PSQL hyphen version. I'm sorry, it's a hyphen hyphen version. It shows that PSQL is a client tool, the version of client tool. Or you can get into PZ data. There's a file called pz underscore version, but it only shows the major version, that's 11. Okay. Now, one important thing to understand here is, in addition to what version we are supporting, the version numbering strategy. Prior to version 10, prior to version 10, the numbering used used to be a three numbers, major version, dot, minor version, dot, maintenance. For example, 9.5.19. 19 is a maintenance release here. 9.6.15. But Postgres changed this versioning format from version 10 onwards. It's just a major dot minor at this time. Example 10.10, uh, 11.5, 10, 12.0, 13.0, 14.0, 15.0, 16.0, 17.0, 18.0, 19.0, 20.0, 21.0, 22.0, 23.0, 24.0, 25.0, 26.0, 27.0, 28.0, 29.0, 30.0, 31.0, 32.0, 33.0, 34.0, 35.0, 36.0, 37.0, 38.0, 39.0, 40.0, 41.0, 42.0, 43.0, 44.0, 45.0, 46.0, 47.0, 48.0, 49.0, 50.0, 51.0, 52.0, 53.0, 54.0, 55.0, 56.0, 57.0, 58.0, 59.0, 60.0, 61.0, 62.0, 63.0, 64.0, 65.0, 66.0, 67.0, 68.0, 69.0, 70.0, 71.0, 72.0, 73.0, 74.0, 75.0, 76.0, 77.0, 78.0, 78.0, 79.0, 80.0, 81.0, 82.0, 83.0, 84.0, 85.0, 86.0, 87.0, 88.0, 90.0, 91.0, 92.0, 93.0, 94.0, 95.0, 96.0, 97.0, 98.0, 
postgresql.org forward slash support forward slash version you can you can read this in future they might change the versioning policy but for now this is the versioning policy major dot minor but keep a, a watch out on this link for any future change